The Apex system on the Pilatus PC12NG is equipped with two multifunction displays. In the standard configuration, the upper MFD is used as the situational MFD and the lower MFD is used as the systems MFD. The swap button on the MFC can be used to swap the systems MFD and the situational MFD. The situational MFD contains the interactive navigation or INAV map display, as well as the waypoint list, flight management window, and vertical navigation display. The INAV map display features a top-down map capable of displaying terrain and navigation data. The map is interactive. Clicking on items on the map will display additional information as applicable. This functionality can also be used to tune radio frequencies directly. The map can also be used to create and modify flight plans using the graphical flight planning function. The range of the map can be adjusted using the set knob on the MFC. The MFD has a row of buttons, or soft keys, along the right edge of the display. These buttons can be activated by using the cursor to click on them or by pushing the associated bezel button. The map orientation can be changed between north up or heading up by pushing the north or heading up button. By default, the map is centered on the aircraft. However, it can be scrolled in any direction by placing the cursor on the edge of the map display and activating the scroll bars. Clicking on center aircraft at any time will recenter the map on the aircraft. You can center the map on any location by clicking on that location and selecting center map. Clicking on center two waypoint will center the map on the two-way point in the FMS flight plan. You can step forward through the waypoints in the flight plan by clicking on Skip Waypoint. The Recall Waypoint button will step you backwards through the flight plan. The Message Clear button is used to clear any system messages that might be displayed on the map. The nearest button displays a list of airports nearest to the aircraft and can be useful in case a quick diversion needs to be made. The Charts button provides access to the Jeppesen Terminal Charts. For more information, refer to the video on Charts Display. The VSD button activates the Vertical Situation Display. The vertical situation display contains a profile view of the aircraft oriented along the flight path or aircraft track, depending on the situation. It also displays terrain, along with VNAV and altitude information. The aeronautical drop-down menu can be used to select various items to be overlaid on the map. Some items, such as intersections in this example, are only displayed at specific map range settings, so if a selected item is not displayed, adjust the range as necessary. While the active flight plan is always displayed on the map, the flight plan drop-down menu can be used to display the missed approach, alternate flight plan, or any constraints such as altitude or speed associated with the flight plan waypoints. The geopolitical drop-down menu contains VFR and non-aviation related overlay selections such as political boundaries, roads, and VFR reference points. The terrain drop-down menu is used to turn the terrain display off or on. The terrain brightness can be adjusted by turning the scroll knob while the cursor is on this menu. The weather drop-down menu is used to display weather data. A sub-menu contains individual XM weather products. Multiple XM weather products can be displayed simultaneously. However, XM weather and onboard weather radar selections are mutually exclusive. 
The TCAS selection controls the display of traffic on the INAP map. By default, the situational MFD also includes waypoint list and flight management windows. Using the page button on the MFC, the waypoint list window can be expanded across both windows. For a detailed description of the waypoint list and flight management windows, refer to the flight planning videos.